Hey, welcome to uh, another year of beer blog. Um, we're doing uh, a quick bit of uh, beer cookery, I guess you'd describe it. Uh, what we're making is um, a beer misu. Uh, so basically, it's a tiramisu made with beer. Now, the beer we're using is obviously key to it. We happen to have left over from last night a little bit of a uh, oak-aged um, Yeti Imperial Stout. It's really it, you, you need to use kind of an Imperial Stout. An American one is really good for this recipe. They tend to be a little sweeter, a little bit more full-bodied. Um, so what, what we're going to do is make a tiramisu, use the uh, imperial stout in the, in the base of the, uh, of the biramisu as opposed to in a tiramisu you'd use coffee and brandy or rum or something like that. So basically we've got a little dish that we've lined with broken sponge fingers. The sponge fingers are just these little cake fingers, we're going to break them up, fit them all in there, then we're just going to pour the imperial stout over the biscuits. And that's all going to soak in. Still a little bit of carbonation left in it from last night, so they're all bobbing about a bit in there. That smells fantastic, actually. It does, you know, the, the smell isn't too dissimilar to like espresso and rum. So, just going to make sure there's plenty of that in there. You don't want too much; it doesn't want to be too kind of boozy and sloppy. Um, I guess if the worst comes to the worst, you could always crush up a few more biscuits, just pop them in the top there like that to soak up the excess beer. Now the topping is really simple, um, it's a topping of twos, so you've got two eggs, uh, 200 grams of mascarpone and two, uh, two ounces of caster sugar. I'm mixing metric and imperial there, that's very poor. Um, 200 grams of mascarpone just happens to be one of these little tubs. So basically you separate out the egg white and the egg yolks. Um, to the egg yolks I'm going to add two ounces of golden caster sugar. I'm going to beat this until it goes into a really, really smooth cream. And then once that's a, once that's a really kind of smooth, almost like mousse-like in texture, I'm going to add the mascarpone. I'm going to beat the egg whites, and then I'm going to fold all of that together. And that's what's going to make the topping for the biramisu. Um, that's not going to be a very interesting thing to watch for 20 minutes. Um, so we're going to cut and hopefully come back um, to see it all going together in a little while. Right, that is just about creamed. So, mascarpone in. Whoa, wallop. And that needs to be mixed together as well. You need to wash, completely degrease the beater before you beat the egg whites, otherwise it won't work. Now that bit was easy, the egg whites are going to take forever. You can use a hand mixer if you've got one, I don't. An electric mixer, I mean. Right. You just need to beat them until they're at the soft peak stage. So just hold them together like that. And a good test you can do is they should stay in the bowl. If you end up with egg on your face, then uh, your egg whites aren't ready yet. They are just about there. So we're going to add them to the mascarpone. Which way should we do it? Yeah, add that to the mascarpone and the egg white mixture, egg yolk mixture. And we're going to fold those together. And that's the topping for the beer and the soup. We're just going to fold all this together very gently until it's all smooth and creamy and uniform and that's just going to go on top of the, uh, the broken biscuits and the imperial stout mixture and then we're going to top it with a little bit of uh, grated chocolate grated dark chocolate is probably best I'm going to use uh, green and black Maya gold which is orange and uh, some other kind of aromatic spices a bit of cinnamon and that kind of thing in there and basically that's a really really I have to say, this is the first time I've done this, and it's, uh, I'm amazed at how quick and easy that is to do. I've actually, even doing it all by hand, it's less than, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes maybe. So we're just going to finish folding this in, we're going to pour it on top, and then we're going to take a photo of it. A little bit of grated chocolate. Got a lot of grated chocolate. Plenty of grated chocolate. Okay, here we go. This is it's biramisu time. Um, I'm very, very excited about this. It's set a little bit in the fridge. Oh, let's pour a bit of beer. We've got the uh, the OK Yeti there. It's a little bit flat. That's been in the fridge overnight, but. Um, 
Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh yes. That's just the right amount of stout in there. That's looking fantastic. Cheers. Mm. That's interesting. Overnight that's kind of it's gone from being really big and really alcoholic. Settled down a little bit. There's much more sort of coffee and espresso flavour coming through in that, which is going to be great in this. So, Biramisu, here we go. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. That is totally outstanding. And obviously, you know, I'm a little bit biased because I cooked it myself, but that's really delicious. And actually, really like kind of nice and nutty, and it's not too boozy. Like some tiramisu, if you, you know, can be quite spirity and quite over the top and quite alcoholic, but that's really smooth, rich. If I did it again, I'd maybe use um, a bit more beer and a, and a few more, uh, like, finger finger biscuits in there, just to give a bigger a bigger base. It's a little bit sloppy, but really, the, the combination of, of tastes and textures is fantastic. I'm going to finish scoffing this. I'll see you again soon. Cheers now. Bye.